Expedition Entry Log Number 1, or EEL for short. You know what? Now that I've actually written this out, that's a bad acronym that I've chosen to use for myself. Now whenever people read these things, they're going to get the image of a sea snake wearing sunglasses writing in this journal. God damn it. I should just stop myself there before any more funny ideas start popping into people's heads. Anyway, I have decided to start keeping a slightly more organized and detailed record of my journeys in the form of these expedition logs. For reasons even I don't fully comprehend for myself. I think as the saying goes, idle hands are the devil's work. So I figured I might as well put them to work like this. I've been in this world called Black Desert for the better part of about a month now, trying to get my bearing on things. Albeit very slowly, I might add. I feel so lost and aimless roaming around in this world. Just trekking through the vast deserts takes ages to cross and I'm panting and wheezing to make a delivery to my latest employer. The politics and the story behind it is so convoluted and lost on me, I don't know how to make any sense of it. Where do you want me to go next? Come was something? Okay, okay, just mark it on the map, I'll head straight down over there. Wait, you want me to WHAT? Did I just accept a job as an agent to undermine or topple a peaceful, forest-loving kingdom? You see what I mean? Despite me being a hopelessly lost puppy, I do remember that I have at least one goal that I need to complete while I'm stuck here in these hellish wastelands. I'm here to watch the world burn with front row seats to the show. Okay, even for me, that's a little bit of a convoluted and vague goal to make any sense out of. Specifically, for more context, a longtime friend of mine has defected from his cushy seat as the key strategic officer from the number one guild of this world, Cho. And I have thus followed him out of a contractual obligation, aka called a promise, to join him if he had left. So, now he and his old guild are destined to really shake things up with each other. Again, because it's not the first time that he and Cho were at each other's necks, and now that I'm here, now. Don't get me wrong, I never said that I was going to help him. I just said that I would join him for the front row seat so I can watch the world go up in flames. That's it. But I suppose that if I were to give myself a more concrete goal, with the promise of joining him at the center of it all, then I should probably be helping him set the world on fire. So to do that, the best thing for me to do is get myself strong enough so I can join him in the equalized capped guild wars and help him go ham on the battlefield. That will be my primary goal for as long as I am existing in this world. And for my first step to accomplish this goal, I am going to complete the main story. The best way to familiarize yourself with your new tools and your unhoned skills is to just go with the flow and do as the Romans do. You're able to learn best if you just play around with your toys in natural fashion without any tight constraints. Kind of like mindlessly trying to twirl a pencil around your fingers in the middle of class. So, that's what I'm off to do right now. Well, let's see if I can't try to complete the story today. No, definitely not today. I just barely got started on this fifth region. It's gonna take more than a day for me to complete this. Let's at least try to make a dent in things. Is that the only one? What am I looking at? After a bit of the mindless back and forth between the locals, I was eventually tasked with collecting heaps and loads of mushrooms for God knows what reason. It was a good chance to stretch out my muscles for a bit and shake off the old rust, but I cannot say that I was entirely fond of the whole experience. Oh, what? Not what I meant to do. Forward F, backwards F, left click, dash around. Oh, hello! Okay, okay. Nope, nope, nope. Stop attacking me. 
me spam the F key there. Hello. I don't know which way to go here. Wow, well, yeah, yeah. Everything around me is an enemy. Good lord. Am I done yet? Oh. That's why I backed off. I swear, everything here is an enemy. What the hell? Something was... Something was freaking farting on me. Don't like that. Don't like that. What am I supposed to- Ow! 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 Oh my god. Everything is an enemy around me. <laughs> Do I even want to bother trying to gathering up these resources? That's a smooth call, though, but... Oh my god! Cut that out! Oh, nothing there. I don't like this place. This place kind of sucks. Anything good here? No? I don't want to be here anymore. Go away. Thank you. Through chatting with the locals, it is beginning to come to light of some of the conspiracies that lay active underneath the surface of this verdant country. But, in order for me to obtain any more answers, I need to rack my brain over a few things. What is like a tiger when approaching, a hawk when passing by, and a rock after it's gone? It's stalking when you're approaching, it's high when it's passing by. Time? Apparently I had the Correct answer? It was time. Six faces and 21 eyes. Dice, right? One, three, seven, that's 22. Did I count that right? One plus two is three. Oh, plus three is six. Okay, that's... Okay, so besides counting up, the other method for sol solving that kind of problem is finding the medium between one and six, so... That would be three, three and a half, three and a half multiplied by six. So that's 18, then 0.5 times six is equal to three, 21. <sighs> How many more riddles do I have to solve? When you're close to it, illness goes far. When you're far away from it, illness comes near. When you're close to love, illness goes far, and you're far from love, it's... you get sick. Wait, love sick? Is that a pun on love sick? Ah, uh, if it's nature, if you're close to nature, if you're far from nature... Ah! It was nature. Makes sense, kind of. Logically, um, I don't know. But it feels like the right answer. No, how many more do I have to go through? Light and darkness? Indeed it is. Light and darkness. You need to have lived a long life to receive this. When you finally receive it, you become humble and gain the future. Wisdom? Indeed it is. Uh... Another riddle? 
Put everything down, and look up at the night sky for a moment. Your stars are smiling brightly in the darkest of nights. We are the lighthouses in the night sky. How many stars are there in your lighthouse? Wait a second. Uh, one, two, three... Seven? Do I have to type it out as... Seven? Say... How is that five stars? Excuse me, that is not five stars. That is seven stars. What the hell is wrong with this game? Oh. The bell has tolled. Night has fallen. A dangerous beast that people call maintenance has begun to prowl these lands. I must seek shelter now, lest I be subjected to horrors left only up to the imaginations. And so, this is where I shall end this expedition entry log. I feel I've made very little progress in my quest to fulfill my promises, but hopefully I can rectify this mistake by the time of my next entry. Good night to everyone. <laughs>